back. I'm back. This was not the way I planned to start the new year. I will tell you that. Thank you guys so, so much for all your support. I'm sorry I was not back earlier this week, but I am happy to report I am on the mend. I am good. In fact, I got a good workout in today. It was like a full one and I feel really good still. That is good. Thank you guys. And I hope you guys are staying healthy through the new year. It's here. I feel like I'm still in a, a blur though with the dates. I am, but today is Wednesday. I'm going to try to get this up for you guys today, in fact. And then I'm only two days late. It's not so bad. Anyway, I went to Whole Foods, but my plan this weekend is actually to go to Costco and really stock up. When we were under the weather, I will tell you, we just thrived on those Everbowl acai bowls. Oh my goodness. I had too many, way too many. But now you know me, I want them. I still want them. So I'm going to create my own. <laughs> but with that, I always tell you guys that if you want to stock up on like a lot of frozen fruits and stuff, I think personally one of the best places to do that is Costco. And so I'd like to do that this weekend. And again, since it's kind of midweek, I don't need like a full haul's worth. So it's kind of random, some fill-in stuff, you know, stuff to make PB&J and call it good. But uh, I thought I'd share it with you guys anyway. But yeah, I do plan to go to Costco. If that all pans out, that will be up for you guys on Monday. And I will have a, a vlog for you guys again on Sunday. We'll get right back into the swing of things. Um, if I do get this up today, there won't be a Thursday video, but again, We'll kind of just, it's a blur. We'll just act like New Year's is next week. Anyway, I hope you guys are well and I hope you guys enjoy this haul. If you are not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you come along. And to all my returning subscribers, thank you, of course. And again, I hope you are having a great start to your new year. Let's get in. So I did want to mention real quick, I'm going to kind of skip around here. All of their supplements right now, including protein powders and all that stuff, is all 25% off right now for the week. I don't know if it runs for two weeks or if it's just the first week. I'm not for sure. But if you can get in there and you want to stock, stock up on some supplements, now would be the time to do so. I'm pretty good still on protein powders, so I didn't get any of those. However, I did see that they had this uh, Natrol, if that's how you say the brand, melatonin on sale. It was a really good price. I'm a fan of melatonin. I've told you guys this before. I really like it. And I know not everyone is though, but if you are, here's some gummies for you. I prefer actually, there's even one right next to this with 10 milligrams. And I will say with melatonin, I feel like you have to find your perfect number. <laughs> and actually sometimes a higher dose for myself, you would think would be, oh, it'll be better even. And it's not. And this is like really perfect for me. I'm just mentioning that, but this is a vegan one as well. And, uh, just one gummy is all you take, but there's no like gelatin in it or anything. So I got that. And then I also picked up just cause you know, we gotta, gotta get that vitamin C and stay healthy. Uh, this mega food C defense again, some gummies here. Now I will mention too, and I will link them below that I am still very much taking my ritual vitamins. That is a daily, uh, again, it will be linked below for you with a 10% off coupon code. If you are in the market for a good multivitamin. That's what I've been doing for years. But yes, I did get myself some additional vitamin C. And again, this also is vegan friendly. Anyway, for produce right now, and again, just because we're midweek, I don't need a ton. Got my greens. You got to do your greens. <laughs> got the 50-50 blend here. Got a big bag of apples. They're honey crisp and they were on sale. It was calling my name. So I got those. And then I got some bananas as well. I mean, you can see back there and my dishes, but uh, it's, it's pretty slim. It is. But again, I want to stock up at Costco ideally, but we got to get something, right? So I got some bananas here and then I also saw, look at these oranges. There is no Photoshop here, my friends. Look at those. Those look so, so good. So I grabbed four of those as well. And then I wanted to share this with you guys. This will be my second time purchasing it and I'm, I got it for Nate to take to work tomorrow and he loved this. He really did. The only thing is, is I will say is sometimes it's not easy to find, like they don't make it I don't think like as a daily but they should I guess it is very very good um, a really good salty flavor in the corn beef but it's of course a vegan one and then it comes with like a mustard spicy brown mustard back there too he really likes it, it looks like it has pickles some greens and then like a rye marbly bread 
pretty good. So I got that for him. I needed some more hemp seeds as well. I love hemp seeds and these were on coupon too. And then these were on sale as well, my friends. And I will tell you, if you are newer to eating plant-based or decided to maybe even go fully vegan uh, in the new year, if you're newer to this, but you're afraid you're going to miss out on cheese, I will tell you if you are a blue cheese lover or a feta lover, you are going to be just fine. This is incredible and it is a favorite here for sure. Now, I say that for me. Now, Nate is not a blue cheese lover or a feta cheese lover and he hates these. And again, I always say that is good because that means they've nailed it. Seriously, they're, it's amazing. Uh, the feta crumbles from Follow Your Heart the best. The Violife Feta that you can also get, I think it's very good, but if you're wanting a true like fake out, there you go. And then the blue cheese they launched a couple months ago, and this is killer. Like, oh my goodness. And it's like blue. It's crazy. <laughs> so if you can find this at Whole Foods, at Sprouts too, you are in for a real treat. You will love it. I got one watermelon here, just you know, getting all them micronutrients in. And then I know I, we've been so good about making our own overnight oats, but again, they were on sale and they just sounded really, really good. So I got some of these mush oats. I got the blueberry, the mixed berry, the vanilla almond, and then the vanilla bean. I had to do it. You know, I'm just going to take the easy route this week, but I will tell you that majority of these are vegan, including these ones, but some of them, do have honey in them, some flavors. So just if that's something that you do avoid, um, just double check your ingredients. There's, I believe, like a peanut crunch one, something like that. And that one has honey in it. But these are wonderful. Very, very good. And then I got some more Z bars for my kiddo. You guys know he loves them. So I got the chocolate brownie 12 pack. And then the they have the cinnamon roll one too, which I've told you guys is actually a hard flavor for me to find. But these are the two that he really, really likes. So got those. They only had the cinnamon roll in the six pack though. And then at checkout, they got me. These are on sale too right now. Actually, these are a pretty good price, but I just grabbed two of the Go Macro bars. I got the coconut almond butter and chocolate chip. And then the peanut butter chocolate chip one, very, very good. I love Go Macro bars. I actually saw that they had on coupon right now too, the Go Kids, like the Go Macro Kids bars. And basically they're identical to these, but smaller. And then they drizzle like chocolate on top. They're really good too, kid or not, just saying. Now I saw on the old TikTok, I did. <laughs> <laughs> and it looked so easy and so good. So my favorite candy bar pre-vegan going way, way back was a Butterfinger. I loved Butterfingers. And I saw this recipe where you take cornflakes, peanut butter, which I'm in, and uh, like kind of puree that together. And then you might add like obviously some kind of sweetener to it. Maybe it was like syrup or something. I'm not sure, but I'll double check. But, uh, and then you grind that up and then you form them into little like bars, like a Butterfinger, and then you melt dark chocolate, coat them, put them in the freezer and you've got Butterfingers. Now my thought is do that or even add some maybe uh, peanut butter protein powder into the mix too and it would be like a little protein Butterfinger bar. I'm going to play with that. I will keep you posted with that one. And then I did pick up one thing here of the multi-grain seed bread here. I don't think I've actually had this one before but it looks really, really good so I got that. And then one big thing here of the organic quick oats, just the rolled ones. I have have one canister of like the regular steel cut oats and I like to have some of the you know quick cooking ones on hand as well and then these were also on sale my friends the follow your heart uh dressings all of them were but I I literally bought the last three ranch that I saw. These have a really, really good shelf life on them. I mean, you can see they don't expire till July. So if you don't open, you know, all of them, you're good. And uh, I figured I would just stock up since they were on sale and we know we love it why not, you know? So I got three of those. And then for the milks, I actually just did um, an almond milk here from Califia Farms, the vanilla unsweetened, so good. And then this, my friends, if this is not something you have tried or found yet, I know it's at Sprouts as well. This is phenomenal. It is so good. I have mentioned this to you guys before. I grew up on 2% milk. Um, they do have this in a whole milk version as well. And I'm sure that's probably really good too, just based on liking this one a lot. I really, really feel that 
if you are kind of newer to shifting to plant-based milks and you're coming from like regular cow's milk, this would be a great way to go instead of going in, like into the almond milks and oat milks and stuff. This is really incredible how close it is. Uh, it does have a slight sweetness to it. I will say that. It does make sense though because in the ingredients it actually has pineapple juice. Now you don't really taste pineapple but there is just a slight sweetness to it. But I have to just say, again, very, very good. I think you will really like it. And then last but not least, I got some more of these So Delicious uh, little ice cream sandwiches. My kid loves these. I did see right next to these, they had a vanilla bean flavor. I don't know if I've grabbed those before, just not realizing it, but I don't think I have. Now, I was going to get them, but because my kid likes these, I wouldn't be surprised if I got those ones, and I bet in the ice cream part, they probably have just tiny, tiny little bits of like little brown specks from the vanilla bean, and he would question it. He would. <laughs> I'm like, it probably, you know, tastes even better. But no, we're just going to stick with what we know. But he loves these. He really does. They're a great little size, too. They're not super big. They're just a good little sweet treat. And you get eight of them in here. So I got those for him. That was it, my friends. Just a quickie. Just a quick mid midweek one. But I wanted to, you know, come back and say hello and let you know I am back. And I will see you guys Sunday. And then we'll get right back into it again Monday and go from there. I hope you guys are staying well. Like I said, thank you so, so much for all your support. I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys soon. Bye, guys. You know that I'm the queen.